Today I'll be showing you some of my benchmarks I did for the PowerMag G5. I'll be comparing it to my uh, ThinkPad X200S as it is very similar clock speed. It also has dual core, but it's based on Intel, so we'll see how much difference there is in that. So let's get started. That's the results for the PowerMac G5 benchmarks. As you saw, the PowerMac is not even getting close to an old core to do a mach laptop machine. Which is kind of disappointing, but what would you expect? There's a reason why Apple start stopped producing machines with a PowerPC. Because they were just getting too slow to be actually usable at the end of the day. But to be honest, overall, even though the scores are not the highest, I have to say it's more usable than it seems like looking from those scores. Those scores seem very similar to the Raspberry Pi in most ca some cases. And I have to say the Raspberry Pi 1 is definitely less usable than the PowerMac G5, so I wouldn't say that you, you won't be able to use it. As, as I said before in the previous video, you could definitely use it for video playback and some basic internet surfing, but not really much. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button. Remember to comment below the video and subscribe to see more of my videos. Thanks.